This is D News, an update from Deaconess Health System. Hi everybody, I'm Karen Peake at the Victory Theater for tonight's event, The Spirited Heart, and it's sponsored by the Heart Hospital at uh, Deaconess Gateway and the Women's Hospital. And so we have a very special uh, guest with us tonight uh, who is the speaker at the event, Dr. Nancy Snyderman. Hey, so Karen. welcome, Nancy. Thank you. We're so excited to have you here today. Thank you. It's so, great to be here. Great. Now, a lot of people may not know this, but you have Indiana roots. I'm a Hoosier. Yes. I was uh, raised in Fort Wayne, Indiana. So, and I went to IU during oh. the Bobby Knight days. So I, I'm, 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 blue, I'm Hoosier through and through. Yeah, and I know that your, your dad and your uh, grandfather were, were yes, my, also in the profession. My father was, a, my grandfather's a neurologist. My father an ear, nose, and throat do doctor. My brother's an ear, nose, and throat doctor. Oh. I'm an ear, nose, and throat doctor. And then I have two siblings who can't stand the sight of blood. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Perfect family. That's great. Now, when you were little, did your dad ever take you to the hospital? Oh, I knew since third grade I was going to be a doctor. And so the routine in our house was that before church on Sunday morning, my father would go make rounds and I would go with him. So my idea of making rounds would be that I would sit in the doctor's lounge, have chocolate covered graham crackers and then he would wait i would wait while he made went to see patients so i thought making rounds was the coolest thing in the world i didn't know it came with other responsibilities well maybe we'll start adding that to our daily rounds i think we might get more more people involved in that that's great so well tonight's event is about the heart and i know you do a lot on women's issues what advice would you give to someone who may be struggling with getting healthy what's a couple of tips you could give us i think especially for women is that we take care of everybody else except ourselves and I, you know, I always worry that now 20 30 years into doing this side of my life the non-surgeon side of my life I've been saying to women it's easy for us to put ourselves on the back burners and we take care of husbands and boyfriends and kids until frankly we're running out of gas and I don't think women can afford to do that you have to put yourself first mm -hmm. not because it's selfish but because it's self-preservational and if you put yourself first one you take better care of yourself and you're healthier but then if you do have heart disease, you recognize it earlier. Too many women realize they have heart disease late when their hearts are already shot. And there are things that can be done preventively that women just don't take advantage of. Wow. That's, that's great. I, I know diet is probably a big part of that. I know you have a best-selling book, and it's called Diet Myths That right. Keep Us Fat. That's a great title. Right. I think and diet is a yes. four-letter word. Yes. I know you have, I think your, your quote was that food should be your friend. And that sounds right. kind of ironic when you think, there's a piece of chocolate cake that should be my enemy. Well, you know, I, I, I've had the luxury of traveling the world. I've been in refugee camps. I've been in war zones. I've been with people who are very impoverished. And I have never, ever, ever had someone who's really poor walk up to me and say, you know, I'm so sorry. I can't eat Gouda cheese. I have lactose problems. So this sort of worried well aspect of living in the Western world, these are acquired problems. And I think if we went back and we ate basic foods and whole foods and foods that sort of keep the engine going one we wouldn't be seeing the peanut allergies and the lactose problems we would be eating foods for fuel and then when you get fat and I think we have to make fat a word again because it's descriptive you have to fix it because if you are overweight it it leads to diabetes and heart disease and stroke and those are just a series of events that frankly for most of us can be avoided yeah. And I say that as a former fat person. I mean, this is not something where I you know, sort of show, show up and say, you know, I, I'm perfect. I've been there. I, I know how hard it is. I know. I was reading in your book, you said that you used to exercise in a sauna suit. Because I did that yeah. before, and I thought, oh, who else would have please. done that? How about the, <laughs> j the jiggle belts, the sauna yeah, suits, yeah. the liquid diets? I mean, you know, when, when you're fat, you try everything. But the reason those things fail is because they're hogwash. What works is real food. And when you live in the farm belt of America and you live in Indiana where great food is made and you can really connect your school and your hospital and your home to your local farmer, yeah. that's where we have yeah. to be. That's excellent. Well, that's excellent advice. We're so looking forward to your oh, event tonight. You. And welcome back to Indiana. Thank you. It's okay. great to be here. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks. Deaconess.com.